If you have a melanoma, that's the skin cancer that's most likely to cause you trouble if you develop it. But within Australia, far more people develop the little non-melanoma skin cancers. So basal cell carcinomas and squamous cell carcinomas. And those cancers, roughly two thirds of us will run into them within our lifetime. So it's, it almost becomes uh, un-Australian not to develop one of those skin cancers. And despite the fact that melanoma um, is more likely to be deadly, just because we have so many of those non-melanoma skin cancers, particularly squamous cell carcinoma, people within Australia are actually uh, just as likely to run into life-threatening trouble with squamous cell cancer as they are with melanoma. So. Uh, when we talk about non-melanoma skin cancers, usually they're very simple to deal with, but when they get left for a long time, they can cause us life-threatening trouble as well. It isn't something that's common and not something that the average person has to be worried about if they're coming in regularly and we can find them when they're nice and small and simple to deal with. The most common skin cancer we run into Australia is BCC, basal cell carcinoma, uh, and uh, almost two thirds of Australians will, will have one of those within their lifetime. They don't have a habit of causing us long-term trouble where they can travel to other parts of the body or problems like that. But they do just continue to grow in the same area. So the average basal cell carcinoma probably doubles in size about once every 18 months or two years. And that's, a, that's an average. So if we can pick it up this year, uh, we say picking it up in two years time when it's twice as large. And whilst it's not gonna cause you long-term trouble, treating it when it's smaller means it's simpler to do. Squamous cell carcinomas are a little bit rarer, but are a little bit more likely to cause us trouble. So most of them within Australia are just taken out and similar to BCCs, we won't have any trouble with them, but they are slightly more likely if left for a long time to cause us that life-threatening type of trouble. And melanoma, the sort of top of that list is the skin cancer, which uh, is most common to cause us life-threatening trouble. But even similarly to BCCs, if we can pick that up when it's nice and small, that's something that's actually very rare for someone who gets their skin checked regularly. So when we talk about life-threatening melanoma, we're talking about invasive melanoma. And in reality, in my practice, for people who get their skin checked at a regular interval, once every 12 months, once every two years even, uh, to run into one of those deeply invasive melanomas with the chances of causing us life-threatening trouble is pretty slim because almost everything's picked up well before that. There's a big degree in what melanoma can look like, but most of them will be sort of brown spots on skin. So initially they will start out as a brown spot that's on the skin, usually a new one. They can develop within moles, but that's actually more uncommon. They're more commonly a new spot on the skin. So they'll develop as a brown spot um, that over time will slowly enlarge. And then we start to see the sort of the asymmetry, the, the border irregularities, the, the changes in color uh, uh, over time. And essentially, uh, as it becomes more larger, there's just a higher risk that it causes us long-term trouble. Um, BCCs and SCCs can be similar, but they're a little bit different. So most commonly they are not pigmented, so they're not brown. Um, and they'll start as a, a small sort of flaky area or a small red area on the skin that's similar to melanoma will enlarge over time to the point where it becomes a little bit of a, a bump or a nodule and you might get bleeding or itching or, or that kind of things from the lesion uh, that's uh, uh, over time just getting larger in that similar way.